Hey guys, Josh here. This is my review of the movie The Road. I just managed to squeak this one in, so it's going to be short. Hopefully sweet, though. So, what do I think of the movie adaptation of Cormac McCarthy's The Road? Well, it's an apocalyptic drama where basically a son, or a father and his son, are surviving, trying to get to the coastline in the hopes that somehow this will save them. Now, this is not really explained how this will save them in the movie, but regardless, it is their goal. They need some goal because this is a bleak world that they live in. Honestly, there's not much hope and everyone they come across is dead, dying, diseased. There are some characters in this movie, there are characters in this movie uh, that I think were a little overplayed. For instance, I know that the trailer advertises that there's cannibals and not having read the book, although intending to, I uh, don't know how well that adapted, but at the same time, you know, there was like 12 different cannibal groups that they met throughout the movie, and it just got so repetitive, I could really do without it. But other than that, uh, it wasn't too bad. Some of the people they ran across did genuinely make you feel emo feel something for them, because they were rather pathetic situations, they are just pathetic people. But, you know, I gotta say, for the most part, all the award buzz this movie is getting, I don't quite understand it. It's a uh, kind of a bland movie. I mean, it's done well, but it's... You just don't feel a whole lot. There's a couple points where you're like, oh, this is kind of depressing, but you're never out and outright sad. It's more just like a stagnant, or like a stasis feeling that you get, where it's like nothing's going to change and they have no hope. Which, I guess, could be depressing for some. But then, there's certain points about the movie where it cheers up, so to speak, to try and enliven the experience, and I thought that really actually detracted away from it, because the depressing bits were, were pretty effective. If they had kept going throughout the movie, I think it would have been a powerful experience. As it stands, I think it is a little underplayed, a little undercooked, maybe. This movie looks like it's been on the editing room for maybe a little too long. The scenes don't seem to connect all that well. Things repeat, and I don't know. It just, it didn't really strike me. What can I say? It wasn't a, wasn't a bad movie, but it wasn't exactly great either. So the characters is, well, largely just the father, the wife, and the son. And for the life of me, I can't remember the wife's actor's name. I'm sorry, but... She did a pretty good job for what she was in. She's not in it for a whole lot. She's only in it flashbacks till before the apocalypse. But the movie majorly focuses on Cor oh, no, not Cor McCarthy. Uh, Vigo Mortensen, who plays the father, rather emaciated, very machinist-esque performance, and uh, the child. That's actually the boy. Sorry, I think that's his name within the plot too. Like he never actually gets a real name, which uh, I, you know may have worked in the novel, but in a movie, it's uh, it's kind of ridiculous. When you look back on something and you don't remember the main character's name, uh, yeah, I don't know about that. It's one of those things where I think in the novel you wouldn't notice it as much, because I, I get what it's trying to go for. It's trying to go for that everyone is dehumanized in this in this in this new post-apocalyptic state, and it does this very well throughout the majority of the movie. But like I said, while the performance of Viggo Mortensen and the boy are really good, I just can't give that movie too much credit because. It just didn't really entertain me all that much. It was okay, I got it at a discount price so I can't complain all that much, but what can I say? As for the effects and uh, sound design, the sound design was very nice, uh, very little music, very much ambient noises. I really liked the way it designed. The effects, on the other hand, I do have to give major props for, for a movie that did not cost that much money and is largely an independent movie, I, uh, I was impressed by them. Some of them not amazing, but this is certainly far above the caliber, or caliber you'd expect of a movie from this size. The physical effects, particularly, like I said, Viggo Mortensen, and all the makeup is very well done. Uh, in particular, the desolated landscapes that they, they create throughout the movie that are just really powerful. You're like, wow, some shit must have gone down. And that's one thing I do need to mention. If you're looking for this to be a disaster movie, like the person I was going with thought it was going to be, you were not going to get that. This is all about the after story. This is all about the repercussions. There is uh, virtually nothing on the actual disaster. So like I said, if you're looking for that, don't see this movie. Well, actually, you may want to see this movie anyway, just go in with different expectations. So, that said, what do I think of the road? Eh, it's okay. 
Personally, I'd probably rent it, but at the same time, if you're thinking of going to see the road, you, you'd probably want to see it on the, on the big screen to get the whole desolated landscape feeling and all on the big, all on a, a wide scale. But other than that, I can't say it's going to win any awards for me.